Hey, this is Bill with Severe Radar Watchers. We are looking at Tropical Storm Mindy at this moment. Mindy's per, at 6 p.m. There was a special advisory. Wind speed was 45 miles per hour. Movements northeast. The pressure is at 1,004 millibars. Early to try, um, Wednesday tonight, late tonight, early to, um, through the overnight hours, media is supposedly going to make landfall. There, like I said, there's a tropical storm warning for the Big Bend, all the way from basically Destin, Florida, out in the ocean, out here, 20 nautical miles, some parts is 60 nautical miles all the way into almost Cedar Key, Florida. This includes Cross Key, um, Apalachicola. We'll look at this buoy right here. As you can see, some of the wind, um, as it scrolls through the camera, do you see max gust is at 38 miles per hour right now. Um, she, um, when media is located 75 miles west southwest of Apalachicola, movement is northeast at 21 miles per hour. We'll look at this Panama City Beach camera. Media is expected to produce heavy rainfall from the Florida Panhandle into South Carolina in the southern portion of Georgia at South Carolina through Thursday morning. This rainfall may produce isolated to scattered flash, urban, and small stream flooding. Tropical storm conditions are expected through tonight in portions of the Florida Panhandle where a tropical storm warning is in effect. So this tropical storm warning will last into the night. Let's look at a satellite view. This is the lower lower water vapor. See, there's a lot of lot of water, a lot of vapor water built up in her at the moment. Here's a long infrared so they're saying landfall is mainly just west of Apalachicola between Apalachicola and Panama City Beach let's see if we zoom in again um, Port St. Joe possibly between Port St. Joe and Appalachia Colors where where it's going she's gonna make landfall tonight overnight hours. There is a flash flood warning in effect right now until midnight or one a, midnight central, one AM Eastern for Bay County, southwestern Calhoun, northwestern Gulf. In southeastern Washington, all in the Panhandle of Florida, that was issued by the National Weather Service out of Tallahassee. You can expect, per the, um, the alert, expect one to two inches of rainfall, and more could come as Mindy makes makes um, landfall tonight and through tomorrow. So that's just a um, right here. It says little anticipation is expected prior to landfall with land inter interaction result in Mindy weakening back to a depression by 24 hours. Conditions do not appear available for restrengthening off the coast off the southeastern United States as she shear is forecast to increase above 30 knots in 24 hours. This year will likely strip away from 
the remaining convection in both the Euro and GFS simulated infrared brightness temperatures suggest MIDI should become a remnant low in the two to three day period. This remnant low is forecast to open into the into a trough shortly thereafter. So basically once MIDI goes off the coast, it's gonna become a trough. But like I said, I just want to give you a little small update on Mindy as she's moving across. Y'all have a good night. Stay weather aware. Again, this is Bill with Severe Radar Watchers. Have a good night.